Hello. Hi. Welcome to InstaForex TV channel. The economic news will be presented by us, Tahmina Salomova and Dana Kasatkina. You're watching the overview of the currency and commodity markets for the last week. What events were unfolding on Forex trading floors? The American dollar was hit on Friday as markets assessed the speeches of Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen and ECB President Mario Draghi and Jackson Hole. The US dollar index, a gauge of the greenback against six rivals, traded at 92.5590, up from an intraday low of 92.4650, which was the lowest level in the year to date. For the week, the index dipped by 0.9%. Janet Yellen offered no insight into the central bank's thinking on future monetary policy or the timing of its balance sheet unwinding. It caused uncertainty over the central bank's future moves to raise interest rates for a third time this year or not. The Fed has already signaled it plans to announce the start of tapering its massive $4.5 trillion balance sheet in September. Yellen's speech came a few hours after data showed U.S. durable goods orders in July ran behind economists' expectations. Overall, orders for durable goods, items ranging from toasters to aircrafts, meant to last three years or more, fell by 6.8% in July, missing expectations of just a 6% slump. The decline in the greenback fueled sharp moves higher in both the pound sterling and the euro. The shared currency jumped to its highest level since January 2015, following Mario Draghi's speech before retreating slightly. The European unit traded at $1.1920 on Friday, 1.3% 1 up for the week. Mario Draghi said monetary policy would remain loose. He also continued to talk optimistically about the European economic recovery. The pound-dollar pair regained some ground lost earlier, rising to $1.28.85. The sterling climbed by 0.4% over the week. That is all about the current tendencies on Forex. And what sentiment prevailed among commodity investors? Oil prices ended high on Friday, but remained in the red zone on a weekly basis. And what supported prices? Hurricane Harry, which threatened to disrupt production and refinery activity along the Gulf Coast. On the IEC Futures Exchange in London, October Brent futures picked up by 37 cents, so about 0.7 percent, to close at 52 dollars 41 cents a barrel. On the New York Mercantile Exchange, WTI crude futures for October delivery rose to 47.87 dollars a barrel. The Friday boost in oil prices failed to offset losses sustained over the past few days as crude futures slipped to the fourth straight weekly lows. Baker Hughes said its weekly count of oil rigs operating in the United States fell by four to a total of 759 this week. In the meantime, gold prices edged towards 1,300 wide by weakening expectations of U.S. monetary policy tightening once again this year, after Janet Yellen revealed no details on monetary policy or balance sheet normalization in her appearance at Jackson Hole. Gold futures for December delivery rose by $5.39 to $1,297.41 after hitting a station high of $1,299.40 on the Calmex division of the New York Mercantile Exchange. Tahmina, thank you for the review of the commodity market. You've watched the weekly review of the currency and commodity markets on InstaForex TV channel. With us, Anna Kasatkina and Tahmina Salomova. Have a great day. Goodbye. See you soon.